Western nations, most notably France, the United States, and several European countries, have leveraged their influence through African proxies such as Nigeria and ECOS, threatening Niger's military junta with military intervention. Throughout this tense situation, Niger's military leader, Abdurrahman E. Chiani, maintained a calculated silence, unaware that he was meticulously planning countermeasures against those who opposed him and his country. Chiani's seemingly passive demeanor belied his astute calculations and strategic planning aimed at thwarting Niger's aggressive tactics. His silence masked a deeper strategy aimed at defending Niger's sovereignty and independence from external pressures, putting the country in a position to respond to any potential military action or political coercion with decisive and strategic measures. When threats of invasion loomed, the situation between Niger and Western countries deteriorated. Rather than retreating, Niger increased its military presence. What happened next, however, surprised everyone. Niger's retaliation against France, Nigeria, Ecos, Europe, and the West was unprecedented, and it would have a significant impact on European prosperity. This unprecedented move involved the suspension of liquefied petroleum gas, LPG exports, also known as cooking gas, a vital commodity primarily exported to neighboring Nigeria. The abrupt halt in exports had a significant impact on Nigeria's access to LPG, causing a sharp rise in domestic prices. Niger made this strategic decision in response to Nigerian President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's call for military intervention in Niger following the coup. The suspension of LPG exports by Niger marked the start of a calculated response aimed at leveraging domestic resources to meet the country's needs. The move not only hampered Nigeria's access to critical cooking gas, but it also accelerated internal infrastructure development within Niger, including investments in compressed natural gas-powered buses, agricultural agreements, and road network construction. This audacious move was intended to defy external pressure and demonstrate Niger's determination to defend its sovereignty against Western intervention. In response to the recent coup in Niger, West African military leaders convened in Abuja, while an ECOWAS delegation arrived in Niger for talks, ratcheting up diplomatic efforts a week after the destabilizing event. TR Media investigates new frontiers and transformative initiatives. Whether you're a first-time viewer or looking for new perspectives on the ever-changing landscape of innovation and global impact, our content delves into the most recent breakthroughs and the global transformative effects they have. ECO was the West African Economic Community imposed trade and financial sanctions on Niger's coup leaders, giving them a one-week deadline to restore the democratically elected president or face military intervention. ECO was stressed that military action would be a last resort, but emphasized the importance of being prepared for such a scenario. Nigeria, as the region's powerhouse, has strongly opposed the trend of coups in the region since 2020, cutting off electricity supply to Niger, a significant step given Niger's reliance on Nigeria for 70% of its power. Meanwhile, amid tensions, warnings, and calls for dialogue from a variety of sources, including Moscow, Mali, and Burkina Faso, warned against military intervention, citing the risk of regional conflict if such actions were taken. Russia and the United States held opposing views on the situation, with Russia warning against intervention's destabilizing potential and the U.S. supporting efforts to reinstate the deposed leader while alleging mercenary involvement. In this context, Nigeria's threat to halt the Trans-Sahara gas pipeline if Europe intervened in Niger's internal affairs sent shockwaves throughout Europe. This pipeline, which was conceived in the 1970s to diversify the European Union's energy sources and reduce reliance on Russian gas, is strategic in that it involves agreements between Nigeria, Niger, and Algeria for its development, emphasizing Niger's strategic importance in the project. The Trans-Saharan Gas Pipeline Project, which was originally planned to run from Nigeria to Algeria via Niger, is in jeopardy if Niger withdraws its participation owing to the pipeline's need for passage through the country. Originally conceived in the 1970s, the project gained significant traction in July 2022, when energy ministers from Algeria, Nigeria, and Niger signed a Memorandum of Understanding to carry out the ambitious initiative, which is expected to cover a total length of 4,000 
128 kilometers. This massive project, which is expected to have a capacity of up to 30 billion cubic meters of natural gas per year, has piqued the interest of international players, such as Russia's Gazprom, India's Gale, France's Total, Italy's NESPA, and Royal Dutch Shell. However, its success is dependent on Niger's participation and the recent military coup in Niger, as well as the responses of Europe and ICOAS, have posed significant challenges to the project's future. The significance of the pipeline lies not only in its role in Europe's gas market, but also as a potential business opportunity, particularly for American suppliers eager to participate in various aspects of the project's design, construction, and operation. The future of the Trans-Saharan gas pipeline is entirely dependent on Niger's participation, necessitating a peaceful approach from Europe, Nigeria, Algeria, and ECOWAS. If Niger feels hemmed in, it may use its security alliances with Mali and Burkina Faso to defend itself, potentially leading to the pipeline's failure. This project isn't just a European necessity, it's a critical necessity, offering an alternative to Europe's strained energy relations with Russia and promising reliability in the face of growing energy poverty. The $13 billion pipeline, which is expected to transport 30 billion cubic meters of gas per year from Nigeria to Algeria and then to Europe, provides a critical solution to Europe's energy dependency. However, energy experts remain skeptical about its implementation due to concerns about political will and interference in African affairs. The importance of the pipeline is highlighted by Europe's reliance on gas, which will account for one-third of its energy in 2021, making its failure a significant blow to the continent's energy security. Algeria's pragmatic approach prioritizes economic gains from the pipeline, in contrast to Nigeria's adversarial stance, as evidenced by its recent moves to invade Niger. Nigeria's vast energy reserves, particularly in the Niger Delta, highlight the country's potential as a major gas exporter, subject to the completion of the Trans-Saharan Pipeline. If this project fails, Europe will face severe consequences in terms of energy supply, given its heavy reliance on gas for power generation, transportation, and heating, which will account for a significant portion of its energy mix in 2021. Europe's reliance on gas, particularly Russian gas, has been critical in shaping the continent's energy landscape. This reliance, which is prevalent in countries such as Germany, has been exacerbated by Russia's imposition of supply constraints, heightening the urgency for alternative energy sources, as highlighted by the Trans-Saharan gas pipeline. Europe's energy consumption, led by Russia, Germany, the United Kingdom, Italy, and France, accounted for a significant three-quarters of the continent's energy supply in 2021. The consequences of Russia's conflict in Ukraine were severe, resulting in skyrocketing energy prices and the imposition of emergency measures across the European Union. Countries such as Germany and Italy pledged significant financial assistance to alleviate rising energy costs, while French President Emmanuel Macron emphasized the importance of shifting to renewable energy resources. Against this backdrop of urgency, the Trans-Saharan gas pipeline emerges as a promising solution to Europe's energy needs. However, France's involvement in external affairs, particularly the Niger coup, complicates the situation, prompting Niger to issue warnings about the termination of gas pipelines. Niger's actions, such as halting LPG exports, demonstrate its seriousness about following through on its warnings, affecting its revenues significantly. In Europe's desperate need for energy, the Trans-Saharan gas pipeline is its only lifeline. Niger, on the other hand, has become a focal point for European countries, particularly France, due to its pivotal role and control over this pipeline. Because of the pipeline's importance to Europe's energy needs, Italy has criticized France's colonial tactics in Africa, indicating a schism within European states. Niger's warning about suspending gas pipelines set off a chain reaction in Europe, highlighting the continent's reliance on this source. The decision by Niger to halt oil and gas supplies to Europe has altered the power dynamics, giving Niger unprecedented control over Europe's energy supply. This move could result in significant losses for Nigeria and have a significant impact on Europe's gas access. The consequences of this action are still unknown, leading to speculation about the future implications for Europe's energy security.
The fate of the Trans-Saharan gas pipeline is in doubt, highlighting the complicated interplay between Africa's control over energy resources and Europe's reliance on these vital supplies. Is Niger correct in cancelling and terminating all plans for oil and gas supply to Europe? Isn't it true that Niger, as an important member of the oil pipeline that will connect to Europe, has the potential to choke off the entire continent and cause significant losses for Nigeria? Let us know what you think will happen now in the comments section below. Would you like to see more videos like this one? If you answered yes, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon next to it. We have decided to bring videos on a topic that is rarely discussed. Black culture, civilization, history, and evidence demonstrating how glorious blacks have been. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video.